All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching The Promised Neverland Season 2, Episode 7. I've got nothing to say before the start of the episode. So, as always, like the video if you like the video, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let's carry into the episode right now. Oh, hey! You haven't seen you guys in a few episodes? Evil-blooded? What? How? What? She's that old? Her power? What is her power? No way. That's broken. What? Why? Why would you why would the demon race not want this? Apparently not. Yeah, exactly. What the hell? Ah, uh, I get it. Wow. Okay. They control the food, they control the people. Hell no, Norman, are you crazy? Thank you for finally saying it. What is going to be his reply to this? Probably, to be honest. If my favourite food said, please don't eat me anymore, I'd be like, right, fair enough. This thing has feelings. No way. The exit is at where they lived? Are you serious? How do you know this? How do you know this? Norman, what the hell? What? This is a lot of information to be taken in. He's dead? Oh my god. Oh, I get where he's coming from, but destroying... Uh, using Mujika's blood is still a better option. And I know he can't guarantee either side will help them. Like, the humans might kill them and the demons will definitely kill them. Oh, it's a stupid situation. This is very true. Oh, this man has changed. Reply. What's your reply? Oh, Norman. That's a kind of roundabout way of answering that question, though, I think. He's saying, this is the future that I desire. Doesn't exactly answer the question of, do you actually want to kill these creatures and I understand it's already been shown that he can actually kill the demons but can he kill all the ones that aren't trying to bring aren't actively trying to bring humans harm so I still have some faith that that was a roundabout way of answering that question I hope okay stick to your deal she can do this but what is he going to do when she brings them back? What if he just kills them? Who's this? Oh. Oh, Norman still cares. He's still Norman. He's still part Norman, you know? He's just got a bigger weight to carry on his shoulders now. I don't like this girl. I don't like this girl at all. She's a psycho. That's not how we're supposed to see them. So, you're aware of the idea that you're actively trying to see them in a different point of view than they might actually be. Oh, they're, they're like dying? They're having seizures? Okay, that's good. How do you feel about this situation, Norman? Have you, did you lie to Emma? Please, do tell. Hmm. He didn't answer. Don't like that. Well, he did. But it was cut off. Don't like that. Okay. Oh. Oh, I knew it. Norman. Unless you're lying to these guys about that, so it's like a double, triple crossed, I don't know. But Norman. What the actual fuck is that? How the hell did you capture that thing? Bro, their stomach rumblings just made me hungry. God damn it. Bro, they'll be forever. Don't... You better eat. Oh, okay. So they haven't actually gone yet. I got it. <laughs> I do like Emma's way of thinking about things. He might be a bit far-sighted. It might be a very tough journey, but I like the, her way of thinking. I just thought of an issue. At the end of uh, when everybody left Mujika and Sanju, Sanju said he wants to get back to the point where 
where he can hunt humans, I think. He said something like that. And obviously by now he's had the choice probably to ingest Mujika's blood to make him not want to do this anymore. Oh no, he's probably already done it actually because he um, he doesn't degenerate. But he wants to do it anyway. He just wants to do it because he knows the meat tastes good. So... It's, there's clearly still going to be demons like that. So I don't know. It's still a bit of a sketchy plan, but it's very early on in the works, I guess. <laughs> the look on her face. Ah, good shit, Don. Yeah, I get it. I'm doing it for Norman, too. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't changed, kind of. He seems to be very different still, though. To be honest. Really? You're taking all the older kids? Yeah. Oh, okay. That'd be good, then. I don't know how I feel about not leaving, like, one of the older children with the younger children, though, but maybe they're all just good at surviving on their own. I don't know. What's wrong? Are you having a seizure, too? Oh, no. Oh, shit. The same shit's happened to Norman. Oh, God, no. Oh, no. Are we going to see what happened to him after he got shipped? Oh? Was that... Whose voice was that? Was that... Was that Minerva? Right, so that was Season 2, Episode 7 of The Promised Neverland. That was a really good episode. It felt like... It felt like the last few episodes were quite fast in terms of pacing, but that one kind of felt just right, I think. I'm not a manga reader, so again, I have no idea. But that one felt good. Um, really interesting things to come. Um, we have high hopes for stuff that can potentially happen. Hopefully we're able to find uh, Sanju and Mujika. Hopefully somehow we are able to convince Norman and the lot of a different outcome. I don't know how easy that's going to be though. And obviously some other mysteries placed here and there in the episode as well. Um, one being the end of the episode with a voice I recognise and I just can't put my finger on it, but I think it's Minerva. I don't know. Um, if it's someone that we've already met, then feel free to tell me in the comments section. If not, don't tell me. But um, yeah, overall a really good episode and I'm looking forward to the next one. So anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.